hey all I'm still practicing this internet thing um, I'm going to carve an angel out of a piece of wood and I borrowed a Yoda's chainsaw and his dad gave me uh, a piece of cedar and I, I love cedar I love the smell of it and I went ahead and cut the outside pieces off. His dad put his dad put a resin on the on the top to keep it from splitting. So it had been sitting in the shop for a little while drying out. It's pretty, isn't it? Once it's got that resin on there, it turns that pink into a deep red. So here's the angel sitting inside that block of wood and all I got to do is take away the parts that don't belong I'm gonna um I'm not gonna make it a purist thing it's not gonna be like only hammer and chisel I'm got, I've got I use a chainsaw I'm gonna use a circular saw a hacksaw a dremel tool <laughs> a, anything to get the wood removed that doesn't belong. I, I started on this piece of 4x4 I got from a, uh, when I was fixing somebody's um, mailbox and I used a circular saw just a bunch of cuts to make that curve but see I've already started to kind of think about how it, how the wings gotta look 3D and I gotta cut in through here so that I'm left with the feathery mass at the top and the curve on the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I've got two of them to do. This is gonna be the first one. And then the second one. Oh. The second one I'm really excited about. Because after I've done the first one and I really take my time there's an angel in here that looks a lot like the angel um, at the uh, up on the wall at um, at St. Matthew's Church in Statesboro. So stay tuned. I'll let you know how it goes.